Hey everybody, it's Conrad here, and quite a while ago when this feature first came out, I quickly went over articulation sets, and I decided to dive into it a little bit more, and I'm sure what I'm about to talk about has been covered by a ton of other videos, but I figured I'd talk about it anyways, and in this case, I actually recently figured out how to change contact channels using custom key switches made with the articulation sets. So, first off, let me explain why this might be helpful. I have two patches here. That is the solo violin legato from performance samples uh, it used to be a free library unfortunately at the time of this recording the web page is still up and it says it's discontinued and then below that we have the signor paganini solo violin from simple sam samples which at the time of this recording is only 15 dollars and the reason i'm choosing these two is that they each ha have only one articulation so the performance samples is only legato the simple sam is only spiccato. So basically if we can find a way to combine these two we have a cheap solo violin library. So first let's talk about how you used to do this or two of the ways you could do it before. Let me just record a small little phrase here. So you can clearly hear there which ones I want to be spiccato versus which ones I want to be legato. So one of the ways you could do that is open up the event list here. We could highlight those notes and we could change them to channel 2 matching what it says here in contact. Whoops, accidentally sent to 3. There we go. So okay, that's one way. Uh, it's sort of a pain though, just because you have to open up that event list, find those notes, and you just have all this information sitting here on the right. So the other way you could do it, let me set these back down to one, is you could actually make a separate track for channel two. So we'll change this to MIDI channel one. And in track, you can actually go to other, and you'll do new track with next MIDI channel. As you see, I have a hotkey set up. So it's the same instrument, it's just saying this is now channel two. So what we could do now is if we use that same phrase, copy it over, we'll get rid of the notes we wanted to be legato, and in the legato track, we'll get rid of the notes we wanted to be spiccato. And now when I play it, and this is actually how I used to work for quite a while, it was kind of nice to see every now and then like this is the exact articulation that's happening right now but it also comes with some of its downsides if you want to see exactly everything that's going on you have to highlight all the articulations which in the case here of only two isn't that bad but when you have a ton of articulation stacked up it can be a bit of a pain and also it means throughout the track you might end up with a lot of these little fragments popping up everywhere it gets kind of cluttered. So instead, if we can find a way to consolidate both of these down onto just one track, it will make our life very simple. And we can do that with articulation sets. So let me go ahead, I'm going to set that MIDI channel back to all. We're going to go to the articulation sets and choose new. Now also to make things a little easier, I'm going to open up the show keyboard just so we can see exactly what I'm pressing all the time. And now we have two patches here, so let's make two articulations. We're going to call the first one legato. And we will call the second one spiccato. Okay, so let's first go over to switches. We had two articulations there, so let's go ahead and add two here. You see it automatically fills legato and spiccato. Sorry, legato and spiccato. So switches is us telling logic what we are going to do to trigger that articulation so in this case what is going to trigger legato so i can choose any of these options so i can control it with say a midi cc and i can control it based on the velocity i'm playing with we're going to keep it simple here we're going to choose note on now let's choose a note that is outside of the violin's range so in this case we'll pick c2 could be any note but we're just going to pick C2. I'll go to selector and tell it C2. So basically what I'm saying now is okay logic when I play C2 
switch it to the legato articulation. And I will go to note on D2. And now I'm telling Logic when I play D2, switch it to the spiccato articulation. So that's all set for us. The issue is Logic doesn't know what legato and spiccato mean right now. So this is where we go to output. So this is where I tell Logic, okay, legato means you are going to go to program channel one, which reflects here in contact, channel one in contact. Spiccato means you're going to go to program, but you're going to choose channel two. So now the way it should work is when I play C2, as you see down there on the keyboard, I should get legato. And when I play D2, I should get spiccato. And there we go. We now have both of them being controlled by key switches, just like any regular key switch library. And now we can just record right there on one track. Simple as that. So stay tuned because I'm actually going to upload another video talking about this of how to use articulation sets to control multiple parameters. Uh, but other than that, there you go. You now know how to switch instruments in contact using your own key switches. So happy composing.